Hey, love bugs. This is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning sub, my growing, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, the video I'm doing today, I'm, I'm doing this today, but I'm posting it for tomorrow. It's called uh, Stepping Out of the Ground Hog Day of Confusion. If you are... A 90s kid like me. Well, actually, I'm a, a 70s baby. I said 90s baby. <laughs> 70s baby. We're in so many down downloads right now. It's not even funny. Um, uh, if you're a 70s baby, you know what I'm talking about. Groundhog Day, the movie with uh, Bill Murray. I think it was well Bill Murray, Murray and stuff like that. Especially National Lampoons, you know. Because I sound know I'm telling my age, but hey, I'm seasoned. I ain't worried about that. Um. Or even made me think about Happy, Happy Death Day. That movie almost had me almost in tears just because I'm like, if this girl don't figure out what is it doing. Because it's just like we're, we're going through a uh, Groundhog Day effect. You know, we're going through re uh, re uh, cycle cycles, you know, repetitive cycles. That's what I meant to say. Because it was just like I got all these different content. And I said, what am I feeling right now? What am I vibing to? And I was just like, nothing ain't really catching me. And then I just stormed, stunt, you know, um, stared in the space and I was thinking... And I was just like, and I kept seeing it. And it was just like, I, I was seeing that on the side where it was like, universe was giving me an idea. And it was like showing me, you know, the hamster wheel. If you, you know, you keep on having different things that you constantly reoccur. Maybe because, you know, you get aggravated with yourself. It's like, wow, why am I catching myself going through this situation again? And it's not to tell you to get aggravated with yourself. But it's just like, listen to what you're doing that you're not you know fully catching on to that you need to learn out of this experience you know maybe if there's certain things you're not letting go of or certain things you're not having confidence in within yourself or you know um you you have a lack of empathy on your empathy you know it's just like different things you may have gone through and it's showing you where your your uh where your you know where your healing of that journey needs to take and you know a lot of times can be you know just depending on how you look at it because when I was seeing it it was seeming like a hap you know uh, a hamster wheel but then it was showing me at the same time I was seeing national Lamp national lampoons is like boy this is how my mind works national lampoons vacation grand hog day and then it was showing me matrix when you see all the stuff just coming down and you're just picking the truth out of the illusion picking it out and I was like wow that's what y'all talking about and I wrote it down because I was writing it down and I was staring in the space and I was just writing and I was like nah 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 no there, there you go I'm like, oh okay you know I'm like y'all I apologize but that's how my mind worked like that and we had like four or five different things that's going on. And I was just picking what I wanted to, how, how I was going to, you know, face this into a content that I wanted to talk about. And it's just like, we, we go through a lot of things. And it's like, when you allow yourself to go through it, and sometimes it's just like, universe is like, don't kick yourself and don't be harmful on yourself. Because this is at that time, you are becoming a person that you have never been before. You are creating something of a new that has been talked about. Like, it's like before we came here, we signed a paper. And it's just like sometimes you want to always go back. Like, let me go back to that square one and just sign this paper. And then we just like tear that paper up. Like, no, I wish I had never signed this mess. But you knew you had a purpose. And you had to go through it. And it's crazy. They said that you picked out your, your, your issue. You picked out your problem. You picked out how you want to solve it. And you picked out, you know, this, that, and the third. You know, and all those different things. So it's just like you're stepping out of the Groundhog Day confusion. You know, you're allowing yourself to see the matrix of illusion. It's like all this is stepping out. You know, there's some people that are still... Um, you know fantasized about that they're still seeing that they're still on that vibration but then there's people that are catching themselves it's like wait you know why do y'all see what i'm saying it's just like the veils is getting snatched off but some people don't yet know that yet and it's just like you know we're still working on ourselves we're still creating 
a new vibration on ourselves. We're still connecting to that new vibration that we're not knowing we're going through because there's a lot of things that's moving in fast pace and it can be very scary at times. It can feel very uncomfortable and it'd be down like, Dad, can, can we take a break for a minute? Can we really take a break for a minute? And it's just like there's some of us is just like that. You know, I'm, I'm on it. You know, I'm loving how I'm changing. I'm loving how I'm building myself up. You know, bring some more. And it'll be like, man, shut up. Shoot. You don't know what they, they about to bring around that corner. You better be comfortable with what you got now. You know, and live through that moment. And it's just like when I can say I'm looking at it and it's very uh, educational for me. Put it that way. I said, let me see the right word if I want to use. Because a lot of stuff, it can seem very scary. It can feel very fascinating. It feels very intriguing. And some stuff I'm like still stuck on, huh? But then it's like I have that aha moment. And then you're just going through that, that, that lapse of time where you're allowing yourself to say, you know what? I learned the lesson now. Um, I'm stepping out of the hamster wheel. I'm allowing myself to not go through a repetitive cycle that I'm no longer being need to be in because it's like when I'm seeing it when I say it was so many different uh I forgot what that word I want to use different um examples they were showing me because a lot of times it depends on what your hobby is you know because they want you know I feel like it's like shoot dumb it down dot com for me I ain't trying to say that for nobody else I'm like dumb it down dot com for me let me just say it simple you know because people are like Rosa I love the way you explain different things because you say it's simple you know and break it down you know because sometimes it's like okay you want to sound studious and use all these big words and stuff like that but let me just break it down simple I ain't got time to be proven everybody I know how much spark sparks I got I know how much education I got. Let me go ahead and, you know, just go ahead and just lay it down and just be plain and simple about it. You know, if you want to go ahead and do it that route, you go ahead, but I'm doing it my way. You know, and just being able to say that and you can get to that point, like, even though it really hit me deep, like, you can even have a a, 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 a dream and it say something like, how did you, why did you have to say it like that? And then we were like, well, you know what? It was true. Let me, you know, thank you for that. And then we're like, okay, because, you know, a lot of times, you know, we, we can, we get frustrated about how come we have to keep redoing this? How come I have to keep filling this out? Or how come these things keep happening to me? Or how come I keep going through this? Because a lot of times they always tell you, if you don't heal from certain situations in your life, it's going to go through the next experience. Except it's going to be the same devil, same situation with a different face. And I was like, Okay, I understand that. You know, and when you're going through all these different things in your life, and, you know, it can be good, bad, happy, sad, or whatever, but it's just like, it's all about how you choose to look at it. Is this, you know, because it, it's just like a lot of times we get frustrated when God and universe asks us to do something. It's like he is, he is, and they are already where they're at. They're trying to get us on that same vibration. If you know there's something you want more in life, there's a lot of times you're going to have to have that corrective criticism and allow them to tell you certain things for you to understand what they're trying to tell you so you can move, you know, and understand what you're moving into. And then, you know, you're being confident about that. You're moving in stride. And then it's just like those different things that you're seeing. Because when I was seeing it, I was just like, I don't know why it was around me. One of those nightmare on Elm Streets, like it was, it kept going and kept going. And he was like, why does it keep doing this? And it was like, oh. Then it was showing you the whole situation of what you weren't, they, they were putting down you weren't catching. So I was like, oh, that's what that, oh, okay, that's what that was. And a lot of times certain things that come out, you really are not catching it, you know. And I was like, damn, they didn't dumb it down without comfort, you did it. Mm -mm. Okay, well, let me go ahead and put it in your terms the way you'll understand it. And it's like, oh, this is what you were trying to tell me. Because there's a lot of times where we're being in our head and you can really think about stuff. Are you self-sabotaging? Are you thinking about it from a different perspective? Are you changing the dynamics of the the view that you, you know, you're changing the, um, the uh, what, what, what do they call it, um, vantage point on how you're looking at that situation and when you're changing that it gives you that lesson to where okay you have done with that because it's like a lot of times we don't realize there are certain sequ sequences in your life that you already passed done but it just needs you to catch up with that vibration and be able for you to understand that 
you know because it's like whatever you know like they tell you your your reality whatever you creating within your mind creates that you know and it takes you to be disciplined it takes you to be able to understand that it takes you to be consistent and when you're doing that it just seems like you can understand more of what's taking place when you're allowing yourself not to take it personal you understand and a lot of times universe will use someone in that exact month like if he knows what your trigger is universe I bring that exact person to pull that trigger just to see if it's there and then you'll understand why that happened that's why they always tell us not to take things personal when things are directed towards us even if that person is doing that towards us that has nothing to do with us that's why they say you know never point out somebody's character because at the end it will show character or lack of their you know and just appreciate it for that experience you know and that's why I was like when I was saying earlier you don't ever you know I had that habit of talking about good and bad you know narcissist and this and this and this and that but then it was just like I had to have my acceptance this was a part of me you know I've had narcissistic traits I had narcissistic values I had toxic traits I have abusive self abuses self self sabotage ways I had to connect with other people that had that same vibration for me to understand what I had to self access to heal and and disconnect from with within myself and when then that happened I stopped connecting with people in that vibration that goes into that and it allows me to think that, you know, because there was a lot of times I would put a narrative on that person. They could have did some most gutter butt stuff to me. But then if I allowed myself to say this was a part of me, too, that's why it connected with me, because I had to see, you know, a lot of time we don't understand something until it's projected towards us from the outside. You know how they say, you know, look at the outside in. It's, tough. it's hard for you a lot of times from seeing what on the outside of what you're projecting towards other people for you to connect with that. You know, instead of using judgment because somebody's still stuck in that cycle, you remember there was a version of you that was still stuck in that cycle for a while. So now you're getting stuck, you know, you're pulling yourself out of that groundhog day of confusion. And you're being able to understand that because it's just like when I was explaining it, it allowed me to go back to different videos that I um, uh, that I did, you know, especially when it comes around certain times of the year, you know, and I get like that. And it was just like, you know, yes, there will be a certain time of the, the year that you really feel sad or, you, or there are people you miss. But you can't allow yourself to keep like don't predict that pain is going to come back again. You're, it's like you're trying to. Make sure it comes instead of just saying, you know what, this has happened. It's something that can't be changed. You know, it's something that was supposed to change you in some kind of way. You know, you're dealing with different things that are may be sensitive to you a certain period of time than it does on another period of time. You may be dealing with it, but when it comes to that, around that certain time period of life, like if you have no family and all of a sudden Thanksgiving, Christmas, and all those times come there or whatever, and um, uh, you deal with that, and then when it comes you know instead of you picking different activities even though you know it's there you're trying to allow yourself to say you know even though this is a sucky time of the year let me allow myself to do something to bring uplift my spirits and that's what universe is showing you you know even though it's okay to feel this way for a certain time you know or there's different times you may feel low and they say it's okay for you to feel depressed sometimes it's okay for you to be mad but don't allow yourself to plant there you know, allow yourself to deal with it, allow yourself to self access, and then you take yourself out and reroute yourself because you are meant for more. You know, you are meant for more. And those things happen, especially if there's people that you really, you really miss that passed on. You know, um, and it, it's like I always tell people nobody can ever give you an expiration date to deal with your grief. You know, especially if you're dealing with it in a, a very intense, traumatic way. Nobody can't tell you that. But then it's just at that time, you know, that person is there, even though that physical sense is not there. That spiritual is always still there. You know, they're there, you know, helping you. They're there, you know, guiding you, protecting you, uplifting you, letting you know, hey, I'm still here. Just because I'm not here in the physical sense, I'm always here 
for you in that spiritual sense, you know, that metaphysical sense. I'm protecting you. I'm guiding you. I'm bringing, you know, different things to you just to let you know, you know, because it could be a song that reminds you of something or their name is being brought up in something or, you know, um, or you come across a picture of theirs that, you know, just uplifts you, that lets you know that they're there. And, you know, they're stepping in and showing you, you know, it's that time just because life has denied for me. I want you to live on for me just because I can't physically take the next breath. I want you to take that for me, you know, and allow yourself to become, you know, everything I, you know, everything I know you can, you know. And it's just like, and when I said that, it, it brought up a post. It's like never... You know, is disrespectful to anybody that's no longer here that had so much confidence in you and you're being lazy about your change. You know, it's just like if your family that have passed on the ones, your ancestors, all these different people have picked you because they knew you would be that game changer. They you knew that you were that one that was going to make a riff in the whole program like you were that one that's going to, you know, create your own ripple effect of something that, you know, we never knew, you know, the enemy couldn't see that coming. That's why they made hybrids like we were. They couldn't use the same dynamics, the same characteristics of what a Harioka was. They had to be able to mix it up. So if we were to walk there, you know, walk through the enemy lines, they wouldn't know who we were, you know. And that's why they're like that. That's why you have challenges. That's why you have people in your life that wants to doubt you. You have all these different things that's taking you out of that, that, uh, that groundhog effect. For you to be able to know that you needed all these things to show you who you truly are and what you truly are not you know and you have to be able to do that so if you're going through this you know hey keep stepping you know you keep stepping because you are stepping out of that groundhog day confusion of abusion okay and it's just so fusing you just don't need that you know and it's just like you you got so many new different things that is waiting for you to explore and it's just like if you already know how that chapter ended allow that that mess to end so you can start a new one or hell you probably already starting your own new book now I was like, man, that one's over. I, I'm, I'm about to make me a whole upbeat comedy. It's, it's just like, well, I'm coming out with. They ain't never came out that one before, and that's what they want you to do. You know, they know the highs and lows, the goods, the bads, the ups, the downs. That you know that that created a new character of yourself. You don't have to rewrite that whole reread that whole scripture when you already know how it ends. It's that time for you to write a whole new chapter and a whole new book of a whole new reality. So you are stepping out of that, that 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 vibration of the Groundhog Day confusion. So I hope you are able to resonate with that, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to um, Tyra Lover nine um, nine uh, ninety forty one uh, nine hundred forty one. I don't know why I was saying that. Wildflower, much love to you. Andreas Alvarez, much love to you. Um, and um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. I really enjoy y'all being here. I really appreciate, I really truly appreciate the support. It's truly appreciating to me. You know, I had to take time off to myself, like I said. You know, you're going through a lot of different changes in your life. And sometimes you need to take that time off to be selfish and selfless at the same time. as stay focused on you. You know, you're growing and there's a lot of things you need to understand about yourself even before it gets there. So I hope you were able to resonate with that. You know, like I said, I always leave my contact information in the description box below as well as my link to my podcast as well. Um, and I also leave my cash app there too. If you ever feel generous enough to leave a donation is greatly appreciated. You know, I do a lot of um, spiritual networking. It's just to be able to connect with others. You know, I'm going to start back on my um, chats because I haven't did it for like about two months now. I, st I took a break from that as well. But, you know, all this stuff is going to start back. So, um... You know, we're just being able to get that deeper understanding of purpose. You know, there's a lot of different things y'all share with me. Um, and I never want you to feel like it's strange or it's crazy or anything like that. I always want you to feel comfortable with what you're you're sharing with me because you're trying to get an understanding. You know, there's a lot of times that you, you stand out really bad <laughs> towards people and they don't understand you and you're misunderstood. And it's just to be able to be here to let you know there's other people out there that's just like you. You know, and that's why I love my channel, you know, for you to be comfortable and let you know you, you were born to stick out. And that's good. You know, you, you're going to be that person that um, that will change the world. If you feel like you can't, you're not that one, but you are. 
So I hope you are able to resonate with the content in this video, y'all. Um, you know, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life to make reality, I'm putting that beautiful vibe, abundant vibe on you. It's going to be something that's going to knock you down to your knees. It's going to be something that's going to be talked about for a long time in your generation, in your bloodline, all those different things because you worked hard for that. You know, anything that's not coming easy is going to be very well worth it for you. And it's going to be unpredictable. And it's going to be you know it's going to be when you least expect it so you know i'm putting that on your vibration of your, of your path of purpose and if you're going through spiritual uh i said spiritual social distancing oh jesus social distancing you know make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequency you never know those things really take somebody a long way and just because you did it's going to take you even further peace much love bye